and this is the view from the top very 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 nice big boulevards the lake Good morning from Minsk, Belarus. I arrived last night, but it was around 88.30 and then I need to meet a local guy here. It was too late and I don't really have any desires to film anything. But now I'm gonna show you where I stay, the hotel room and everything. But let me tell you my first impressions from Belarus. Well, I wanted to see from a long time because I've never been in Belarus. A few years ago, I've got the chance to come near uh, Russian border with Belarus, but then I realized that this border is only for Russians and Belarusian people So I cannot get it anyway. So Belarus is not the typical Motorcycle friendly country What I mean by that is that not that the drivers are bad or the roads are bad. No, the roads are beautiful nice um, Tarmac surface everywhere the drivers are polite everything is very well regulated everything is good But the roads are only straight roads. They don't have mountains. They don't have passes. They don't have these curvy roads so it's a pretty boring to ride here. The interesting part in Belarus are the towns like Minsk. Minsk is a beautiful city and just after a while I'm gonna take the bike and go and ride around and spend one day here just to try to see as much as possible of all of these beautiful ex-communistic and new buildings because as I said it's interesting. But from the country there are a few more interesting towns but I don't really want to spend more, much time here. I just want to see Minsk and then I will hit the direction Poland. Let me show you the hotel room that it was found for me last night. It cost only $20. Of course, it's, it's not a luxury hotel room. It has this small bed. And of course, the usual mess that I have created. The area is not pretty, it's not the city center. But the boulevards are big and has good access from here. This boulevard I can go easy to the center and uh, my motorcycle is parked over there, you can see it. And they said it's absolutely safe and they've got the cameras and everything. The standard size room. It's not bad, shower, so that's everything that I need. So as I said, now I'm gonna spend a day around the town and tomorrow I will hit direction west to Poland and then eventually take the ferry to Sweden. I'm not going to load this back now because as I said I will ride around the city and I will spend one more night here so it will be only my tank back with camera this helmet camera and that's it so let's do it this is the hotel big Soviet style building on big Soviet style boulevard I said, it's all right. Let me right now to the center. And I'll spend the, the day over there because I have to meet another one follower around five in the evening. So there are no reasons for me to come back and stay in the in the hotel. I will try to use the time to film as much as possible from from Minsk. Great. The weather forecast is not promising. They said heavy shower 3 4 in the afternoon. And the whole day is going to be like this. So I hope I hope that it will be alright. I have my telephone, I bought a SIM card with internet, so on the way back I will use Google Maps to find the address, on the way down I don't need anything, I can just follow the signs, I can see it over there, center, so should be alright. It is 17 degrees here, what a big difference, yesterday in uh, Ukraine was 30, now here I have 17. But it is what it is. I think that this was the building of the library, National Library. It's very well illuminated during the night and I believe that I have to go on this big boulevard over there and turn left. But let's see. 
Yeah, all right. I'm sure that this was the boulevard that I need to take and go straight on to the biggest prospect. This is the library, beautiful building. What is this shape? Octagon or whatever shape it is. As I said, guys, very big boulevards, nice road surface, regulations, the drivers are polite. So it's, it's not a difficult to ride here and it is even a pleasure considering that now it's 9.30 probably still peak hour and it is fine I think this is one of the most famous points in the town the Victory Square or something similar Vastat Pobeda All of these big white open boulevards and building typical Russian or ex-Soviet style Palace Republic. This is the yeah I've been here yesterday. This is the the Palace of Republic. And down it's a beautiful cathedral that I would like to visit. I forgot the name but I'm gonna find out now. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. So here I believe that I need to walk a bit. This pretty area. Beautiful buildings. And the cathedral is somewhere on the left. This was the cathedral that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna find out what was the name after a while. I said there is another one over there, so I'm gonna find it where exactly it is. This is interesting moment. Beautiful area, beautiful. Who is this guy? Yeah, really nice complex. And this now is the building of Belarus Academy of Science. And this is now the Palace of Republic and the whole square is very very impressive once again this is a typical Russian Soviet Union style big empty squares with beautiful buildings around see more here another one so many of them see Russian glory but these buildings are so big that you cannot even make a picture properly you have to be on such a far away distance otherwise you can't make it yeah it's a lot of wasted space but it's nice to see it okay let's now go and see the red church the famous red church should be somewhere very close four kilometers the GPS set so many impressive buildings from both sides left and right very very big I think this is 
the red church let's see maybe not so this is the red church Now on the right hand side is the building of uh, Bolshoi Opera or something like that Very 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 impressive building Let me find a spot to park the motorcycle and I can walk over here This building is so beautiful and so impressive but it is so big that you have to go on a far away distance if you want to film it especially about the pictures so this is the building of theater, opera and ballet at the same time. Very very impressive with beautiful monuments and fountain here. I guess when the fountain working will be even even more spectacular to see all of this. Massive, massive size. The building of Bolshoi Opera and Theater was very impressive but now I will go to show you the most beautiful Orthodox Church in Minsk and this building across the street actually is the circus so this is the national circus of Belarus they don't have tent for it they have a building here in Minsk beautiful building by the way the library I plan to visit it uh, later today because the forecast for the afternoon like three four o'clock is going to rain so I plan to spend the time inside during that time they said that they have some very very rare books nice uh, exhibitions and many more so I will definitely see it so here now on the right hand side is this beautiful church here we go let me see where I'll be able to park and walk around okay nice nice this is the church very 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 beautiful and the fountain and this one here it's wooden church ah nice again very very beautiful spot the main entrance very very impressive really ah, nice and in the background is this wooden church Go closer to see this mosaic work. Beautiful. See the door. Nice work. Really nice work. And nice angle from here. This small fountain and the wooden church and the whole park. Big bells over there. Many, as I said many times, guys, I'm not a god believer, but I respect all religious, and it's uh, interesting to see places like this, especially when they're so beautiful. now the library let's see where I can park go and see it so that's it the National Library impressive building let's see what is inside wow very very interesting let me ask you if they have 
uh, wool drop. Okay, so I've got a cart for 1.50 ruble, which is 75 cent, and I have access to the first free flows here. Let's see what they've got. And then uh, I'll go on the sizing terrace on the top, which is on the other side. Do another 1.50 ruble. Nice. Very well decorated. In the era of internet, it is so nice to see that there are still people who read and all these books which is actually a treasure but a little bit not so important for many people today but yes they've got books for everything here and it is free you can come and read it whatever you want the entrance is also only just a, a small fee as i said 75 cent you can spend all day here this is the second floor more like exhibition but soviet times books uniforms yeah and this is some kind of information here everything you need all the information that you'll ever need Interesting. This is the third floor. A lot of information here, a lot of information. Well, if you like books, you can spend hours here, hours. Because what they said, they've got very, very rare books. So that's enough for me. I wanted to see it, I saw it. Now I'll go to the sizing terrace. And this is the view from the top. Very, very, very nice. Of course, there are glasses here. You have to look through the glasses, but my camera don't need to. It's a big shopping mall, Donut Center, where I plan to go after a while and maybe eat something. Big boulevards, lake, big park over there. Yeah definitely worth it the price of two dollars less than two dollars actually this is the coffee very nice so i'm gonna sit i need something here probably here wow the food just arrived look very very good very tasty i will definitely enjoy this meal but it is still one o'clock even if I finish at 2 o'clock, I almost saw everything that I have to see in Minsk. What I'm gonna do the whole afternoon, I will probably go back to the hotel for 2 hours until the rain goes. And then maybe jump on the bike and ride again, just like this, without any point, just to see what it is. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Let's eat and go. The elevator is nice. Dmitry finished work early, so he's gonna show me a few more things that I have missed, which is good. And uh, this will be interesting to see, yeah. So you cannot have Russian monuments or Belarusian monuments without the tanks, yeah? Yeah. Don't freeze on the camera, don't freeze. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't... Uh... And plane, yeah. T-34. The famous tank and then all others are after the second world war and we're gonna climb that memorial now 
See you inside. <laughs> so, we have to climb. This will be your first time. Go ahead. <laughs> How many stairs? Many. <laughs> big logo. And all this is made from big mosaic. Interesting. And of course the views. So Belarus is so flat like a table. I'm really glad that at least we have one hill to climb to see this interesting monument. You can consider it like one of these communistic monuments that many people would like to see. This was nice, now we'll go back to the city and Dmitri promised to show me some interesting places that uh, I missed and to give me some history about it. Yeah, we organized to till the afternoon. I was wondering what I'm gonna do. Here we go, I have a company. This is Kalinin Square and this is the monument of Mikhail Kalinin. And the other side is the Botany Garden. He was one of the leaders of the resistance in 1917 1918 and this was actually at the end of the town now it's somewhere in the middle another one of these so-called soviet union style squares and it's a famous writer and this is um, some kind of pictures of his poems and this lady is here and over there the deep deep end is Tsum. this is uh, like universal shop left from before and this is the Philharmonic over there. So yeah, yeah, communism is alive here. You can see it, you can feel it. This is the famous factory for tractors. It's a very famous for uh, Minsk and Belarus. The brand is MTZ. Yeah, huge, huge factory. Yeah, you have a big logo here. Belarus Minsk tractor works nice all right it was raining in the last two hours so I spent it inside and now Andre came with this BMW GT 800 so he's gonna show me also a few beautiful places that I, I haven't seen so far and weather improved and everything is going absolutely well I really enjoyed Belarus and uh, Minsk at all. It is such a pleasure to ride now after the rain. Especially after the sun came. Wonderful. And uh, this is the Olympic stadium that they built for the uh, Olympic Games, the hockey games in 2014. And this is where we're going now. It's almost seven o'clock. I start today around nine and I haven't been bored even for a while. Nice. Minsk Gorod Geroy, which is mean Minsk Town Hero. This is beautiful part and now it's almost sunset. Thank you very much Andre, thank you very much. Always. My pleasure, my pleasure. Your pleasure, no it's absolutely my pleasure. So we're gonna walk in this direction, this big hotel, it's, what is this, big park? Belarus. Huh? Hotel Belarus. Belarus, Belarus, yeah, beautiful. So this is one interesting spot, which one I read about it and I plan to come, but honestly I forget. So thanks to Andre, he brought me here. This is the Island of Tears. It's a very, very powerful point. You can see these ladies and this monument is the name of the Belarusian soldiers who lost their lives in Afghanistan because during the Soviet days, they were also obligated to go and fight for Soviet Union 
So yeah, it's a powerful, powerful monument. See the faces, huh? It's a beautiful spot. Have a look at this. There is even a better spot over there. Yeah, good Have job. A nice view over the church. Yeah. Oh, it's actually very, very close to this church. I was early morning over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful spot. See this crying fountain. А почему он плачет? История какая? Он плачет, потому что отец может не вернуться с войны. Ну, то есть вот памятник на самом деле поставлен матерям. Да. Это музей Second World War. Вот это один из самых известных местов. In Minsk, Stella and the Museum of the Second World War. Beautiful spot, Andre. Beautiful spot. Thanks to your president, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're yeah. ironic. This is yeah. ironic <laughs> yeah, yeah. regarding the situation. Very, very impressive. Very nice. I'll try to make some pictures, but it is just too big for pictures. So it is 8.20 and as I said I start at 9 o'clock so I believe that this was one very very completed day in Minsk and it is time to find a nice place and finally try the proper Belarusian food. Andrei, nice thank you very much for everything, thank you. Thank See you in Bulgaria, you. see you in Bulgaria. Definitely. Go. I thought to myself, no more videos for today. But it is so well illuminated that uh, I cannot resist. Beautiful town, really beautiful town. to this boulevard last night the most beautiful prospect nice 